Hello, so uh, this is the second video in this series of videos that uh, shows how, how, to do, how to use robotic manufacturing uh, with an NX cam. Um, so as you can see here, I just created a relatively simple surface. Um, okay, just a little bit of uh, background maybe. Uh, in the previous video, we, uh, we learned how to, how to set up the machine library so that we can use the, the KUKA robot when we actually want to do um, machine simulation and all of that. Uh, so, um, so in this case, now we now we're moving into the part where we've got a we've got a shape that we want to manufacture, and we want to move that over to our manufacturing environment and start start making use of this KUKA 3D robot. Um, so as you can see here, I've got I've got just this uh, this surface that I wanted to machine. Um, so we can get right to it. As you can see in this case, we're in the modeling applica application. And just by going to application and then manufacturing, we'll move this component over to, to, the, next, to the next application. As you can see here, we just, I'm just going to use uh, Cam General Mill, Mill Planer. This is just your initial setup. Uh, you can always go and set up this again. Um, or Well, as, as you create the operations, you can just specify. Uh, which operations you want to create. So here we've got our work part as you can see here and we're already in our machine tool view we know that because we can uh, just right click here machine tool view or at the top here we can see machine tool view. So currently it's set to generic machine but we want to now use our KUKA robot that we installed. So I'm going to double click on that one and I'm going to go in there uh, robot and I set up the KUKA KR16 and we can say okay I can just specify that over there and our robot will be imported now I can say okay so here's our part so I can just go control T just to move that around uh, just to give us an indication or just to place it relatively alright so that we can actually use it um, for this manufacturing procedure so this seems right about this seems all right. I can just move it into that space. And here we can see we've got our KUKA robot, KR16 model, and our our part that we want to manufacture. A very important part um, when it comes to robotic manufacturing is the robotic rules. So robotic rules dictate how um, how the robot will will move itself um, because as you might think something that has six degrees of freedom uh, means that uh, it there's quite a number of um, number of ways that it can reach a specific point um, so this the robotic rules just helps to govern govern the way the robot moves so what I usually do I go to the top here and I say customize I can then add a ribbon and this customize tab I can call robotic and I'm typing in robotic and then it just asks me where in which applications do I want to use it I don't want it in any of these uh, apart from manufacturing so I can just untick all of them until we only we're only left with the manufacturing application so this seems quite lot but it's only one time set up and then it's there so I can say okay yeah I can see I've got robotic and what I usually do to make sure that I get all of the robotic rules uh, options I just uh, in the search in the search um, window I just go robot and specifying robot gives me three options so I'm gonna first one I'm gonna do is robot control and it's just click and drag and then I'm gonna edit rules and I'm gonna apply rules then I'm going to say close. So here you can see machine tool view. Now we've got six um, six axis robot. Um, that's the pocket. So inside there we can specify a tool. Um, so when we go back to the home part, now we can see we can start utilizing this. So the first thing that we have to do is to create a tool. Um, one of the easier ways we can e we can create tool there, or we can just right click on this pocket and say insert tool so I'm just going to use a mold that, that's um, add a bowl mill and we can say it should go into pocket 
because we said right clicked and insert ball mill and let's say let's make this 20 millimeter we can say okay and we can put the bottom at 20 and enter and we can drag this around just to see if our tool is what we expect and we can see that our tool is fine and we can say okay so clicking on the ball mill here on the side also places it to where this coordinate system sits of the pocket of the Kiko robot. So usually what uh, what they do is they've got a, a, um, a spindle that sits there. So this that just means that you'll have to add the spindle to this geometry um, and then set up, maybe set up the kinematics. Or if you do a Boolean, that probably won't be an issue. The most important bit is just to change that coordinate system but that is something I, I will get in a later episode of this series so the next thing that we have to do is just set up the geometry so if I right click in this window I can go to geometry view and we've got our mill, our MCS mill which is mill coordinate system or manufacturing coordinate system rather so here we've got our geometry and in this case I'm just I will just have a cutting region so um, it won't be like this. We can just add uh, insert geometry at the top here. And it's going to be a cutting region for mill multi-axis under MCS mill. And our cutting region will be that. And we can say OK. OK, so the programming of this robo robot is very similar to to what you would do for five axis milling so we're going to create an operation so a mill multi-axis and we can use a variable streamline quite a nifty tool uh, which program should it sit in we can leave it at nc program we want to use the ball mill uh, we can leave that at, uh, at uh, mcs mill for the geometry and let's say this is we've already done uh, a a roughing operation so let's say we just want to do finishing operation and variable streamline let's make this underscore one and I can say okay so for the part you can leave that and our cutting region is there important here we have to specify drive geometry so there's flow curves that have to be created but if the geometry is relatively easy for the uh, for the application you'll see that the flow curves are already added it's got one and two flow curves in there and then cross curves in this set you can see that the two cross curves are there so here you can read step over i'm just for for, uh, for now i'm just going to leave it at uh, a number of step overs i'll make that 20 but i would rather in uh, normal circumstances i'll use the scallop so that i can specify a tolerance for the scallop height but let's go for number and I'll leave that at 20 and I'll say OK. So next thing is important is the projection vector of the tool because it can't use the tool axis in this case. So I'm just going to specify that as negative YZ because that's, it has to project downwards. And tool axis we can leave that normal to part and let's see what happens. Oh, so here we can see uh, no part geometry, that's fine. We just have to set this up. So it's set to solid body over here. It just has to be set to sheet body. I select the sheet body. Uh, cutting region specified. The rest is all specified. And now we can generate the tool path. And we can see that the tool path is generated. And then a very important thing when doing robotic manufacturing is well especially with the KUKA robots it's very important that this machine the motion output type must be set to line and not arc that is quite important so I'll just generate that again and I'll say okay so here we can see if I go to my program order view variable streamline it sits right there so I can just drag this into this operation because then it makes it easier for post-processing. So here you can see all is fine. If I select this one, we can start looking at 
uh, the simulation of the machine. The most important bit now is, uh, as I said earlier, there's many different ways for the machine to get to a certain point. So let's see what this does without applying any robotic rules. And as expected, this machine is not doing what, it, what we want it to do. So that is the reason why we specify 